In our last video, we created a walk cycle for our character. I continued to tweak my walk cycle until I was satisfied. I changed my axis to the Y axis. And then I unhad my character's armature. Then I switch to object mode and select my character's armature. While his armature is selected, I press G to grab and Z to move him on the Z axis. I position him so his feet rest on the X and Y axis. Now I right click, set origin to 3D cursor. I adjust my view. Now I click on add. I want to add a curve and then I go to path. Now I change my mode to edit mode. Now I deselect the path I just created. Then I reselect just the tip and then I press E to extrude and extrude the line out some. I change my view to the Z axis. Now I press E to extrude a path for my character to walk along. I continue extruding a path until I am satisfied. Now I change my mode back to object mode. I select my character's armature and then I shift and select the path I created. Then I press Ctrl P and select path constraint. Then select my armature only. Go to object constraint properties. Under Auto Path, I go down and check the Follow Curve box. Now while my armature is still selected, I change my view to the Y axis and then I press R90 to rotate my character to the correct position. Now I return to my object constraint properties and select animate path. Now I move my timeline cursor back and forth to make sure that my character moves. My character does move, but it doesn't make it to the end of the path.
So now I move my timeline cursor past the loop area all the way until my character makes it to the end of his path. Now I make a note of how many frames it took to get to the end of the path. Now I set my ended loop frame to the exact same number of frames it took to reach the end of the path. Now I press the play button on the timeline to make sure that it reaches the end of the path. Now I change my view and I notice that my character stops walking before he reaches the end of the path. I stop the animation and drag my timeline cursor back to frame 1. Then I change my timeline to a non-linear animation. Now I go down and select my walking cycle and I press the gray box. Then I click on the animation in the timeline and a box appears at the end of the non-linear animation. I click on the tab that says strip. I close the active strip tab and I open the action clip tab. I go down to repeat and I put in a number to represent how many times I wish to repeat the walk cycle. Now I return back to the timeline. I press play. And now I can see that my character continues to walk to the end of the path. But he's moving too fast. Now I select the path, go to my object data properties, and in this case, increase the frames to slow his pace down along the path. I continue to adjust the frames while I watch my character walk. Once I'm satisfied, I make sure that the object data property frames and the timeline frames match. I also have to return to my non-linear animation and increase the amount of cycles to it. I 
I return back to the timeline and press play to watch my animation. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share and subscribe.